Hi and welcome to the presumably last episode on the Arduino MIDI synthesizer series. As I have mentioned before, I'm running into performance issues with the GCC compiler. It will be too complicated to use assembler for this uh, more casual tutorials. So I will just leave it until you want me to do it. But in this episode we will just wrap up with uh, the last thing that uh, makes it a bit more complete. Uh, it's the shaping of the waveform that we are uh, playing. So until now we have used a sawtooth that we just took from the time that we're playing. And uh, now we want uh, just to shape it using some linear interpolation. So I have these slider controls over here on this keyboard and I can use them as control points uh, to shape a curve that we are playing cyclically. I will just use the first eight of these. So this approximates more or less um, this sawtooth that we have used before. But we can use them to shape also a sine wave. Something like this. The sound is much more smooth. We can adjust it while playing, so I can change it into a square wave. I have also decided to add this to the display on the oscilloscope, so let's just take a look at this. So now we can see the ADSR envelope over here, and that's the shape of the waveform. So when I change a slider, then we can see that the line also moves here. This is the approximation of the sine wave that I have used before. So we can use this display to make it more smooth like this. If you are wondering how we can calculate this fast in our sampling, it's very simple. I'm using just an array of 256 uh, bytes and I fill just the values whenever I change this control here. So we have a really simple lookup table where we can just take the sample out of. And that's all. So that's all for this series. I hope you have enjoyed it, maybe learned a few things. If you still have some questions, just write them in the comments, I will answer them. And maybe see you for another project in future. So tune in again and subscribe to my channel. Bye. Thank you.